You don't lose weight by wanting to lose weight. You don't wish for it and it happens. This is not the secret. You don't get to manifest your weight loss. We've made it to New Year's resolution time, and I know this video is coming out before the new year. Just go ahead and start thinking about what your resolutions are gonna be. I can already tell you, everyone's gonna be like, I wanna lose X pounds. That's it, that's the goal. I wanna lose X pounds. Now, the problem with that is that goal has been your goal for years. So let's change that goal. Fuck your weight loss goal. And I say that mostly because I am tired of everyone saying, help me lose weight. You don't lose weight by wanting to lose weight. You don't wish for it and it happens. This is not the secret. You don't get to manifest your weight loss. That's what you want to hear. You want me to say, I want you to visualize yourself thinner and you will be thinner. It will arrive at your doorstep. I want you to picture yourself in that size two dress that you want to wear and that dress will arrive for you. No, it won't. Never will. You have to work for it. That means you have to give up something. Whether it's late nights with my girlies, whether it's having a few beers with the boys, doesn't matter. You have to give up something. You have to give up your excuses, mostly. You have to be honest about what that goal really is. You don't care about losing five pounds. You don't care about losing 10 pounds. Your goals are broken down into three main components. I wanna look better naked. That has nothing to do with weight. At no point does looking better naked have to do with the weight that's on the scale. I wanna feel better when I move. I wanna feel stronger and fitter when I move. Those three things do not require you to use a scale. Those three things do not measure your success by your weight. Those three things are mirror-based and performance-based. You know, you have the, oh, I wanna be more fit for my kids and my grandkids. That's easy. Go play with your kids or your grandkids. You will be fitter for your kids and your grandkids. You will get fit as they get fit. If you wanna play on the ground with them, get on the ground with them, work on getting up. This is not rocket science. One of the things that uh, a trainer I used to work with a lifetime said, free information is undervalued. And I never understood that until I started making these videos because I will post a video, I will post this video Inevitably, somebody will send me a message. How do I lose five pounds? I don't know. We don't have a scale in our gym. The reason we don't have a scale in our gym is because we do shit that is hard every single day. We don't care what your weight is because if you're doing hard shit every day, your weight will fluctuate every day. Your weight will fluctuate based on how sore you are every single day. So if you step on a scale and your goal is to lose five pounds, and you're sore, your body weight goes up. Congratulations, you failed at your goal. If your goal is to lose five pounds and you have a really good week and you're down four pounds by Friday, then you go out and have some beers and go to happy hour, get on the scale. The idiot part is not the beers and the happy hour, the idiot part is getting on the scale. You get on that scale, your weight goes up by four pounds, congratulations, you failed. What sounds better? Getting on a scale, which you have a horrible relationship with. Most people do. They see the scale and they freak out. The relationship you guys have with the scale and your goals is the equivalent of an abusive relationship. You walk up to the scale, you get on the scale. You blame the carbs, you blame your friends, you blame the parties, you blame the whatever. You ignore the fact that you're not working hard. You ignore the fact that you're not being consistent. You ignore the fact that you just can't stop shoveling Doritos into your face every Sunday. Well, that Tony, you've said more than once it's 80%. And if we're just doing it on Sunday and this wasn't the vicious cycle that you kept repeating, you wouldn't be watching this video. You wouldn't watch any videos like this. 
You're hoping that someone's gonna give you an answer. You're hoping that someone's gonna manifest your weight loss for you. It doesn't work that way. Unfortunately, the way that it works is you get off your ass, you do hard work. You modify what you're eating. And hard work is not, I'm gonna go to the gym for four, five, six hours. Hard work means you do something challenging. You do something hard, but you do it in doses that you can recover from quickly. You don't need more than 30 minutes of hard activity a day. You really don't. You just need to be consistent and diligent and dedicated and whatever other D word you want to use. You can be a dumb for all I care because most of you aren't even going to make it this far in the video because I've already criticized your belief system and how you lose weight. Weight loss is not a wish. Weight loss is not the Christmas gift that Santa brings. Weight loss is not what you pray for when you go to church on Sunday. Weight loss is not the elf on the shelf. It's not. Weight loss isn't going to be underneath your tree this Christmas. Weight loss will not be wrapped up nicely with a bow on it. Weight loss is sweaty. It's hard. It's work, it's effort, it's sacrifice. And I say sacrifice not because you need to give up everything in your life, because that's where everyone wants to go. I just need to quit doing this. No, jackass, you don't. You just need to be less obnoxious to yourself. Give yourself a break, but commit to yourself. 365 days. What could go wrong if you commit to yourself every single day for 365 days? God knows you failed yourself every day for at least 3,650 days. So why not just commit to yourself for 365 days?